everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and this is ray's budget now if you are a returning family member hey guys i hope all is well thank you so much for being here and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for all things budgeting cash stuffing saving and paying off debt i would love to have you here now guys today we will be going over my february budget but before we get into that let's go ahead and read the inspirational quote of the day and it states failure is a bend in the road not the end of the road that right there is a good one guys so i'm going to set that right there now like i said we are going to be doing my february budget guys and guys i love doing monthly budgets because Monthly budgets give me a blueprint of what is going to go on during the month. It lets me know what the month is going to look like. I'll also do two other budgets during the month. But let me know down in the comments, do you do monthly budgets or do you just wait until it's just about time for your payday to do a budget? Let me know down in the comments. Now, before we get into the actual budget, I want to let you guys know two things. One thing, my family does a zero-based budget, which means every dollar is assigned somewhere to go and in addition to that the youtube income you guys are going to see goes to some of my sinking funds and my savings challenges so let's go ahead and get into these numbers now let's go ahead and move to my february overview real quick guys and i always do an overview because on my overview, as you guys can see, I have when all of my bills are due. I have my no spends here. I have all of that. So if I forget when a bill is due, I can go straight here to see what is going on. And in addition to that, if you guys can see, I have my bills um, noted according to when I will pay them. Now, as you guys know, I'm not working right now. We're just basically using my husband's income and we have someone that is living with us that is helping us out right now. But I am still staying on, staying on the same schedule that I was within the last for several years. I don't want to go off of that schedule. Now, as you guys can see, we're pretty top heavy during the month, which means the majority of our bills are due between the 1st and the 9th of the month. And then between the 15th and the last day of the month, guys, we only have three bills due. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and move to the actual budget. Okay, guys, this is my actual monthly budget. And what I've done is zoomed it in a little bit so you guys can see what is going on. But before we put down the numbers, you guys see this really pretty pen? And the little crystals move around in it. Guys, I purchased this at the dollar store. And it writes really, really smooth. So I think I'm going to go back and get a couple more. But anyway, the first thing you want to do when you are going over your budget is look at what your income is. So right now for the month of um, February, I am going to write down salary. And we have 3000 or we have estimated 3500 and $43 coming in. And then guys, for my YouTube paycheck, let me put that down. It came in at a little bit more than this. As you guys know, I tied to my church 10%. That money has already gone to my church and this is what is left over. $575, guys. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your support, for watching my videos, for watching my commercials, for sharing my videos, for all of your encouragement, period. Thank you guys so much for this YouTube paycheck and all of your support. Now, what you want to do is add up all of your salaries. So we have 3,543 and we're going to add to that the 575. So I am working with $4,118, guys. So I'm writing down $4,118. Now, before we get into the cash envelopes or what I call my everyday spending envelopes, I am going to go to my bills because my bills come first. So give me one moment so I can write down the bills. We will go over the amounts. Then we will move to the next part of the budget.
okay guys let's go ahead and go over these numbers and as i go over the numbers i'm going to put them into the calculator so we can get a total of the bills now the first bill is the mortgage at one thousand three hundred and forty five dollars the next one is the Roth IRA we fund at $300 a month. Now the car insurance is $138. Now that actually got, went down this month as I told you guys on my last video. Um, it used to be $153 or $54. It actually went to $138. And guys, when I do my bills unstuffing for to pay my February bills, the extra money that I put into this envelope, I am going to move it to my savings challenges because my savings challenges are going to need a little bit help little bit of help for the month of february so let's do 88 for cell phones 137 for gas 58 for water 90 for internet 25 for our streaming service 22 for netflix 5 for Peacock, eight for Pick Monkey, and $104 for the electric bill for a total of $2,320. So we are going to put $2,320 right here. And let me get a pen really quick. So what you want to do if you're doing a zero-based budget is take your total income, which I have $4,118, subtract your total bills of $2,320. That leaves me with $1,798 to work with. So let me write that down here. $1,798. And I am actually, hopefully this doesn't mess up. Okay. I don't want it to smear. That's what we have left over to work with, guys. Now, what I am going to do now is move to my cash envelopes. So let me go ahead and write those in real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I have my cash envelopes, or what I call my everyday um, spending noted here. And let's go ahead and go through each one of them really quick. Now, for groceries, I budgeted $600. For dining out, $160. For spending, $40. For allowance, 20 and for gas, 100 for a total of $920. So let me go ahead and note that really quick. And guys, what I am going to do is take what I have remaining, which was the $1,798, subtract from it my total cash envelopes of $920, and that leaves me with $878 to work with. So let me write that down. Okay, great. Next, what we're going to do, let me go ahead and highlight this really quick. Next, guys, what I am going to do is note my sinking funds and the amounts per the categories that I want to stuff for the month of February. Okay, guys, let's go over my sinking funds really quick. For my high priority sinking funds, I have that we are going to stuff it with $58 in February. For revolving, 80. For long term, 40. And for self care, 80. For a total of $258. So let's write that down. And then what I want to do is take what I have remaining from the cash envelopes, which was $878. Subtract what I have for my sinking funds, which is $258. And that gives me $620 to work with. Let me highlight this. Now, then what I would do is move on to debt, guys. But um, as most of you may know, I don't have any credit card debt. I don't have any personal like loans or anything like that. We have the mortgage and we have the student loan and parent plus loan. But the parent plus loan and the student loan are on pause right now. So I don't have to worry about those. So for right now... This area is not getting anything. Next, we're going to move to our saving, savings, guys. And our savings challenges is going to get the money um, that is left over. 
and that is $620. And so what we're going to do is bring the $620 down as the total. And then what you want to do is take what you have remaining from your sinking funds, which is $620. Subtract what you're putting in savings, which is $620. And that, guys, is a zero-based budget. Every single dollar has been assigned somewhere to go. So let's go ahead and put that here. Zero. And guys, that is basically all I do every month. I do it every month and I do it every time I do a paycheck budget. Now, before we end this video, I want to let you guys know that for the month of February, I will be doing a no spend week. I think I'm going to do it the third week, and I'm sorry, I'm checking the table. I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do it the third week of February, but before I do it, I will let you guys know on my next cash stuffing, and I will announce it on my community tab for anyone who is willing or want to do a no-spend week with me as well, and in addition to that, I'm going to try my best to do no-spends at least four or five times this year so that I can um, basically boost my savings that will be going into my Spend Less, Save More Challenge because as most of you may know, I'm trying to make a total payment of $1,345 as a uh, principal only payment on my mortgage. So this is going to help me do that. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. And guys, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, be, thumbs up because that helps the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like my videos and they push it out to folks who may enjoy it as well. And if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family. I would love to have you here. Guys, I will see you on Sunday during my Save Day Sunday video, which I am so excited about. Guys, have a great and safe weekend. God bless. Bye, guys.